Hi, this is Rambod. Let's export models from Navis to Unreal Engine using the Datasmith export plugins. When you search for the Unreal Datasmith plugin, you'll see support for other software like 3ds Max, SketchUp, and more. Just scroll down to find the Autodesk Navis exporter. It supports versions from 2019 to 2024. Download it, it's only about 30 megabytes, and install it on your system to add the plugin to Navis. Navies. Now, let's jump into Navies and export our model. In Navisworks, you'll find the Unreal Datasmith option in the ribbon bar. Click on it and select Datasmith Export. Here, you can configure the settings and choose the origin location for your export. Let's pause for a second. Let me explain merge last ant object in hierarchy in Datasmith. If you set it to zero, no merging happens, every tiny detail, like bolts and screws, gets exported separately. For large models, that's like asking Unreal Engine to have a meltdown. It's just too much to handle. But if you set it to three, objects nested up to three levels are merged into their parent, making the export faster, smoother, and way less stressful. So, unless you really need every tiny detail, three is your best friend for keeping things clean and crash free. The only thing left to do is to pick a number for our merge configuration. Let's select zero and export the model. Once the export is complete, let's move over to Unreal Engine. In Unreal Engine, the first step is to go to the plugins page. Click on edit, then select plugins. In the search bar, look for Datasmith Importer. Once you find Datasmith Importer, enable it and restart your Unreal Engine. After Unreal loads, click on the quickly add to project button. Navigate to Datasmith, then choose file import. Find your exported .udatasmith file. Mine is called mybuilding.udatasmith. Click open, then right click to create a new folder. For this tutorial, I named it Datasmith. Select the folder, click OK, and configure the import settings. Turn off lights, cameras, and animations, but leave geometry, materials, and textures enabled. Click import, and voila, your entire model is here. As you can see, I'll delete these walls to make it easier to view. All the geometry and meshes are imported cleanly and look fantastic, since we used a merge configuration of zero. It brought in every detail from the hierarchy. While this works well for simple models, it might not be the best approach for larger exports and imports, as it can result in too much detail. I hope this walkthrough was clear and helpful. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.